Hey guys, before the video starts, I just want to say a huge thanks to Steve again. I know I thanked him a few times in the video, but really helping us out with the death trap here and hooked us up with these billet valve covers for the big block Chevy. That is just super awesome. So thanks again to you, Steve. And uh, you know, it's kind of be a repeat video. Obviously, Steve posted his video, which that's fine. So if any of you guys are new to our channel from that video, hang in there, It'll be a little bit of a repeat. But we've also got Phoenix coming up here. We're gonna engine dyno that on my brother's engine dyno. It's a 5.3. We've got some head work done to it this time, so we're hoping to crush that 650 horse number, 671 run methanol. So stick around for that, and then we're going to America's largest burnout competition, Bradenton, Florida. You guys already know the deal. You follow Cletus, I'm sure. If you don't, check him out, and obviously I'm sure you guys follow Steve. So um, links down below to Steve's channel. Again, I sincerely appreciate everything he did for us. So let's get straight into the action, guys. All right, guys, well, you know how we start this video off this time. We're just pulling up here. Steve Morris, racing engines. We got the tow. We should give him a little jake right here. Morning, Steve. We're here. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and we'll get things unloaded here and then see what, if they're ready for us, hopefully, and uh, get her hooked up to the dyno. Whoa. Jeez, taking out the trees. All right. We'll get her inside here, get her hooked up to the dyno, and make a video for you guys. All right, well, we made it inside here. Currently getting the hubs put on the back. So we obviously we can get on the dyno here. Got to go ahead and pull up the passenger hub, get the actual dyno hooked up, level everything up, get it all squared up at the rear end, then we should be ready to make some pulls here. We're going to go ahead and have Steve tune it for the new injectors which we should have done before. Again, got the new hat on there. And then we did some changes to the camshaft timing. So that's degreed in differently as well. So hopefully, hopefully it helps, but we'll find out today. So post down below what you guys' guesses are for horsepower. Last time, I believe, we'll pull it up later here, but I think it was 1105, if I'm not mistaken. So hopefully we can make more than that, but either way, it's plenty for doing burnouts. So, all right, we'll be back shortly, making some tugs. Well, before we get started dynoing here, as you can see, we took off these Ohio crankshaft valve covers. Not that we're doing any valve adjustment yet, because we haven't ran it on the dyno, but Steve went ahead and hooked us up. And obviously, if you guys don't know Steve Morris by now, check out Steve Morris' YouTube channel, because he does some badass stuff. Let's check out what he's got us hooked up with. Kick-ass billet Steve Morris valve covers. In black, since everything with the black hat now, yeah, maybe we need to paint a few more things black, but we should probably really redo these headers, Jason. So it's gonna look like shit with all this <laughs> nice stuff on there now. So, all right. Well, I think we're pretty much ready to go. Steve's got a few more things maybe to hook up. And what did we make last time, Steve? What was 1104, 1105? Uh, well, I mean, we put the party pulley on, but yeah, the party pulley looked like it was 1192 last time. So basically, 1106 is kind of what we're uh, yeah, 11, for, yeah, 1109, there. 1106, 1109, right there. That's kind of what we're going for because that's the same pulley. So, yes, everything too. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, we'll be hitting the dyno here in just a minute.
well, as you've seen there, we tried making a few pulls on it, and every time we start the truck now even, the dyno computer is locking up. So, uh, Steve's gonna give her one last try over here. We've tried moving the computer, tower, everything, tried anything we could. Went as far as aluminum foil around the tower, distributor, different plug wires, earth ground, added the extensions back on the exhaust the way it was the first time we were here. I don't think there's much else we can try besides maybe the last magic spot he's got. So we'll see, otherwise we came, we got our tune. We'll always leave our mark in the parking lot, that's for sure. So, but we'll try this last spot and see if we can we can get a number. That's what, you know one thing that's always nice. But we got the tune we came for, so we'll see what we can make happen. Well, there you go. We're locked up already. Computer crash on startup. I just thought I'd throw this in there. It's always cool to see it in videos, and it's twice as cool to see it in person. This thing is just a piece of art. All the billet goodness. It's got the clear view like we do. Run a lot of sensors, obviously. He monitors everything, which I don't blame him. He's uh, got a lot more stuck in this than we do ours. Not that we don't have a lot stuck in it, but this, this is awesome. Like I said before, if you guys haven't checked out Steve Morris, Check out his YouTube. I'll put the link down below to his channel. I'm sure most of you guys, if you're watching us, you have seen Steve's videos, obviously. But again, if you haven't, this is just some of the cool stuff. There's Kyle's car, his boys, and just everything going on in the shop here. Just everyone's busy doing stuff. Like I said, a lot of billet goodness. All the machining centers over here. And the main piece of art is right there. Maybe someday we'll have something like that to do our own machine work. We do have some stuff, but this is the best piece right there. Jason's over there trying to learn something. All right, we're here. So as you see, we have the computer issues. Um, you can kind of explain a little bit of it, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. Do we really know what's going on? Lots of noise. <laughs> Shuts computer off. <laughs> Lots of noise. There's yeah. So we're just trying to. It seems to be grounded right. Everything seems good there. Typically, you can replace the spark plug wires. That makes a lot of noise. Um, don't know. I do have, it is a little more common to have the issues with uh, 7ALs with a typical old school yeah. uh, MSD system. They're no, they are noisier. Um, but there's got to be a way we can figure it out on the, uh, the computer here. It just shouldn't, shouldn't shut off like that. Um, I don't have the problems on my engine dyno like that. So, um, too much work to pull it out for the engine dyno though. That's a lot of work. And, it, and it's tuned, it's right. So. Yeah, didn't get a number we wanted. Well, we didn't get didn't a number get, at didn't all. Didn't get eight numbers. <laughs> but I think it's making more than it was before. I really do. Like I said, we did the cam issue, changed the degree of the cam. So it's running good. All the guys that were putting numbers down below, we'll never know. We'll be back though, at some point. We'll, we'll be, be back. back. And thanks to Steve for hooking us up with the valve covers. Those look sweet. So we got it. We're gonna have to dress up some other stuff and get some headers, <laughs> headers touched up, new headers made or something to help address that. So yeah. But we got her off the dyno now, and I think we're gonna roll her outside and burn some tires. All right. Parking.